not bear those security features. Leave alone the ones he was not handling directly. But now when we come to Form 34Bs, my Lord, is a very, very sad story. If you go to a bank, if you have a bad check, even if it is your account, you will not access your money. But my Lord, now we are faced in a situation where we uh, are being told from this report that more than 56 forms did not have watermark as a security feature. Five forms were not signed by the returning officers. And forms that were stamped by the returning officer uh, that have not been stamped, that were only stamped by the returning officer are two. My lords, we are dealing about with 291 forms. Forms without serial numbers, 31. We are dealing with 290 forms plus the diaspora 291. These figures are critical. Forms not signed by the agents, 32. My Lord, forms that did not have hand, the handover section were not filled, 189. My Lord, this is the form that is taken from the returning officer to that national tiling center. It's not from the polling station to the, to, to the constituency tiling center. This is to the national tiling center. 189 did not have handover notes. They have not been filled. And there is another 103 of them that they had no handover section that they had been received. Um, and my lord, it goes on and on. But the most, uh, my lords, I would not stop there. I, I can barely talk because I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe what I'm seeing. My lords, when it comes to the scrutiny done on your lordship's orders, and I will begin with the very serious ones. Uh, my lords, the first question is the question of compliance. As a whole, there has been no compliance with your Lordship's orders. There's been part compliance. And in the crucial areas where there should have been compliance, there's no compliance. And my lords, what is contained in the database of the IBC is the mirror of what took place during the elections. And not just on polling day, before and after the polling all this should have been captured in uh, the database of the uh, IABC. My lords, you'd see in paragraph 3, 2, which deals with order B, about the firewalls. My lord, the court appointed experts say that the first respondent <coughs> was supposed to provide configuration of internal firewalls as the request is genuine. This is our own independent expert saying, and does not affect the vulnerability of the system. And they conclude by saying, the internal firewall configuration was not delivered as ordered by the court. My lords, that's serious. My lords, in regards to certified copies of certificates of penetration tests conducted on, uh, by the IABC, on the election technology system prior to the election. My Lord, again, this one was not submitted at all. And this is important to know whether this system was, had integrity. My Lord, again, when it comes to the documents relating to certified copies <coughs> of certificates by professionals prepared to regulation 10, again, of the same regulation, again, this was not provided. This is even more important, or than one found in paragraph 3.9. Specific GPR location of each Kim's kit used during the presidential election for the period between 9th, 5th of August 2017 to 11th of August. They said they provided the GPS locations for the polling stations, but not for the kits. 
which means that if those were provided, then they would have known whether these kits were used or not and from where they were used. My lord, when it came to, uh, I'm just dealing with the, the more important ones. Uh, when it came to the read-only access, where your lordship said you can have access but it's lim limited uh, to read-only access. My lord, this again was not provided. They say there was a, a live access which there was an attempt to made around three. Uh, this is 350, but without the ability to access the logs or even view them. Therefore, according to them, your own experts, your lordships, this was not granted. My lords, again, when it comes to log in trails of users and equipments into the KM, KIMS database management, this was a crucial one. Again, this was not granted. My lord, again, uh, there was a request or an order for login trails for users and equipment into the KIMS database management systems. Again, my lord, this, that request was also not granted. It was an order, actually. It was not a request. And finally, my lord, there was uh, uh, required to be given information on a uh, soft copy of this request. And again, this was not Provided. The general conclusion then is that uh, um, the, the first respondent only agreed to provide read only, read only live access to the servers at about 11 a.m. today, but partial read only access was provided about 3.15, but with no capability of copying. But from what you've seen, you'll see from our reports, from what we have gleaned from what was granted, my Lord, you'll, it will be established that, that even the account of the chairman was being used for deletion of information that was in the database. That is what our experts have gleaned from this examination from what they was, were given. They have also gleaned from what was available that there was an authorized uh, access by in some cases, the individuals who have, been, uh, who have been identified from what has been provided. My Lord, since I have only 20 seconds, from this, my Lord, there is no other alternative. You need another few minutes? Yes, my Lord, if, if, if I can be given. Yes? Yes. Another five minutes? Yes, my Lord. My Lord, I, what I would want to say in conclusion in these five minutes is that from the forms themselves, 34A, uh, 34A, 34B, even the re reports in relation to Form 34A, there was a random sampling of those forms. And again, even in respect of 34As, the ones that were made available, they had a lot of problems. And the counties and the constituencies have been mentioned in the report on the report that was carried out at, at Milimani. In respect of the Form 34Bs, in totality, if you look at the numbers of votes that it affects, in more than 90 constituencies, 90 constituencies, where what's required under the law was not, either not done, or in terms of security features, you'd find that uh, security features in those forms were found uh, not to be in those forms. So the logical conclusion is that, uh, my lord, we, you cannot ignore uh, the report uh, in regard to the, the forms, and the forms are statutory forms. They are there to serve a purpose, uh, and my lord, when you look at the report, and in fact, if at random you could be calling for some of those forms, you'd find that uh, indeed uh, we are justified in terms of the complaints that we're making. And my lords, from our own report, which you have filed in court, we have made also a report in reaction to this exercise. Uh, and there is no difference between what we have found out from what the, the registrar found out with the group of experts that he had. Just, just, just on the question of from 34As and 34Bs. 
the conclusion of our report is that uh, these forms that were irregul irregularly uh, either um, uh, that were irregular either on account of not being signed or not bearing security features, and for many other reasons which are stated in the report, affected nearly five million votes, and we have included that in our report. So it is not just a, a question of numbers. Now, my lords, the register must be commended. If you look at the copies of the report of the register which was signed, and she made it available to us. She was going through file by file, constituency by constituency, and making remarks. Uh, there's a report that has been filed, but there's an additional working sheet that she had. Yes, Honorable Yes. What uh, my running friend is referring to now are new documents that have just been filed by the petitioner. These two documents. This is the one he's referring to. Mm. Our understanding was that it's only the reports, the two reports from your registrar that should be being considered now there are reports to the court because it is the court that directed the registrar to do so. And the court very kindly said the court you accord a few minutes to each of the parties to comment on the reports by the registrar. I think it's quite irregular to now file these bulky documents. They've just been handed over to us. We've not even had time to look at them. The confines of the directions are for parties to comment on the reports by the registrar. And I ask that this should not be permitted. This should be disregarded. This should be withdrawn. And my learned friend should be confined to commenting on the reports by the registrar. Uh, could I? Uh, my two learned seniors sometimes tend to overlook me. <laughs> uh, may I please you, my lords, I take an objection to a new document which has been filed. I have only seen one, so it would appear from Senior Council Muite, there are two. The first one, my lords, is titled Petitioner's Report on Forms 34C, Bs, and 34Bs, Examination Exercise. This is a new document. It seeks to introduce new evidence, introduce new allegations, and will have no opportunity to rebut them. My lords, it's the most irregular filing that I've ever come across, a filing being done post the conclusion of the case. I wasn't even served with the second document. I don't even know what it is. But the one that somebody casually put on my lap as he was walking is this one. This other one, I don't even know what it is. Be it as in May, my lords, I request the same fate to fall this, which is even a third one. It's becoming like a magician box. I think I've dealt with them. There's a third one, my lords, which is petitioner's report from ICT access public audit report. So there are three. I hope there won't be a fourth one. My lords, your order was quite clear. You are to give us 10 minutes to comment on the report from the two parallel processes. You didn't give us an opportunity to file or a cross-filing to be made. It will be most irregular if petitioner is allowed that latitude and we are denied that an opportunity to be had in respect to now three documents. Mr. Mr. Ngatia, Mr. Ngatia yes, my Lord. when I allowed Mr. Rengo an extra few minutes. I know what I was doing. 
I was going to allow you the extra five minutes because I realized he had not finished. Yes. And I was uh, going to allow all of you. Yes. The time I was going to give to Mr. Orengo, I was going to give to the three of you. No, I, I, but, but anyway, I have, we have got your point. Yes. Yeah, we have the, got the your time point. I have no difficulty. Yes. I may not even want to rival him with 15 minutes. Yes. I may still take my 10 minutes. I have no difficulty with the time. It's the new documents being very well, filed. Very well, very well. My very objection well. is to the three documents. Now, let me ask this. Did each party file their own report apart from the one of the registrar? No. I have not filed any report because that would be contra the order you issued. You always said we read it, come, submit on it for 10 minutes. So I have filed not a single paper. Mr. Orengo, Mr. Orengo, 